Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new today. I want to take you on a journey, on an adventure. Yesterday I was with, I mean yesterday we went shopping with my fiance for stuff to our home and also I made him to take me to a couple big box stores that I haven't visited in a while. I haven't been there for months right now I feel and I found some cool stuff. I bought a couple plants so this will be so much fun. I'll take you along, show you what we found, show you what we've got and it will be awesome, right? But before that, I just want to give like a quick information about my puppy. In my previous video, I mentioned that we were struggling and I just don't want to leave that question or hanging without answers and stuff like that. So for those who are not interested in any kind of puppy stuff, I will leave a timestamp over here. You can skip this all mumbly stuff and go straight to business, straight to drooling over beautiful plants and just all of that business, right? But right now I just want to jump in and quickly talk a little bit about my German Shepherd and what have been going on lately. I have been noticing many, many comments all throughout the years I, I have this channel because here on YouTube I share a big chunk of my life with my pets, with my puppies that I adore and love with all of my heart. And I keep on seeing comments that I inspire people to buy pets, to just be more sensitive with their dogs, cats, and just, you know, somehow I just feel like people only see the bright side of owning a dog slash you know pet because i just keep on showing all of the cuddles all of the fun adventures in the nature and stuff like that and owning a pet is not only that so i want to share a little bit more of reality how it is i mean i've been sharing a lot about my puppies on this channel because they're a big part of my life and i've been sharing how my first ever german shepherd passed away how that and like affected me and stuff like that and right now we have another german shepherd and we rescued him because he was bought for breeding because he's like full on german shepherd like what what is the, the word for it like original german shepherd so he was bought for breeding only not as for a pet and when the previous owners uh, was making all of the tests that he's suitable for breeding they found out that he has dysplasia dysplasia is really common between german shepherds and it Displeasure, like sh short story, is that they have problem with their legs. Specifically, my German Shepherd Yakari have problems with both of his front legs, so he have displeasure on his in his elbows, and what that means that the bone structure is not it's not great, and the joints actually are just rubbing off, and soon he won't have any joints left in his legs, and I will get to that. So this week he swallowed a toy and we were freaking out we went to the vets we asked for scanning and since the toy was is made out of rubber and silicone it was not visible so he needed to eat some kind of paste so that paste will color all of the insides of his you know belly and in that way we'll be able to see where the toy is and since he was under anesthesia for the x-ray we also asked the vet to do x-rays on his front legs because this autumn i think he already had a surgery on his left one and we just wanted to see how it's going is it better than the right one that still did not have any surgery which was crazy expensive so we just wanted to see how he's doing what is you know what is the process of that right and when the vet asked us to come back to the office with the x-rays he said there are two news the good news are that the toy is already close to the exit so that means he won't need surgery it, it will just go out on itself and that was just i'm not sure why maybe i'm having a panic attack or something it's so difficult to breathe and talk so the good news are that the toy will be out by itself the doctor said it two days ago it's been two days ago and the toy is still not out yakari is pooping but there is no toy in this poop 
So this already makes us freak out like crazy because maybe something went wrong at the very end of his like tunnels, if you know what I mean. So this is another story. But the other story, he said that I have really bad news about the displeasure situation because it's it's rough. I actually have x-rays, I can put them on the screen. I'm, I'm not sure how much that will be like interesting for you or maybe like understandable for you. But this is how Yakari's both front legs are looking under the x-rays. As you can tell, the bone, all of, the bone structure already started to change. It started to grow out some new stuff on top. And that means that he is in pain. Not really big pain as for now, but it's only a matter of time. So what that means that maybe a year or so he will be able to live almost normal life. But at the same time, that means he cannot run. He cannot play. He, he can only be a couch potato. And he is a one-year-old German Shepherd. It's, it's almost mission impossible, especially owning another puppy that always wants to play and always asks him to play and jump around. So this is already a very difficult situation for us. And what that also means that this, both of these elbows won't be, won't be good for a long time. So in about a year or so, he will be in a really big pain and without pain medications, he won't be able to survive. And later on, the joints will be gone, like completely gone. There are still joints, but it's just a matter of time because they're just rubbing, rubbing off against each other. And then the bones will start to rub against each other. And that, as you can imagine, will be incredibly painful. So he won't be able to walk. So we... Vet said that there is nothing we can do at this time because this is, this is, I mean, the only, the only way, the only option we could do right now is just live life as it is right now and enjoy it as we still have him in this world. And then later on, we'll need to make a tough decision to put him down because, I mean, I do not want to keep a dog just because I cannot let him go and he will need to suffer because of that, obviously. He also said there is a surgery <laughs> and I was like all lit up, okay, there is a surgery and he said that he, I mean, this is a 21st century, there are, you know, like robotics elbows that can be put in, but for one leg it's about 20,000 euros and the surgery is only made in Austria, so... <laughs> I mean, it's impossible in our life. I mean, we, we cannot afford to even fix our car that is broken at this moment. So what to say about two legs for 40,000 plus. So this is not an option. And right now we honestly are heartbroken. It's been days and we've been just... I mean, we knew where what we're getting because when we're buying Yakari from his previous owners, People said that this that he has displeasure, but this is nothing serious. He will be able to live normal life. He just won't be able to, I want to say, propagate. <laughs> he won't be able to make babies, you know. And that's that's that wasn't important to us. The most important was that he will be our pet. He'll be our baby, and he'll have a normal life. And later on, we found out that the situation is really bad. We already did a surgery on one of his paw. Another paw is questionable as well, and right now we just right now we found out that both paws, even the one that had surgery, are in real bad shape. So, long story short, we have limited time with this puppy, and this is just really breaking our hearts. And just like a little message out to the world, to the people who are watching my videos, that having a puppy at the same time is a blessing and so much love, so much kisses, so many kisses, and the best thing ever but at the same time this can crush you like like a flipping bulldozer guys <clears throat> but anyway so here is an update for Yakari so okay but enough talking about puppies right it's already been crazy long intro I just want, did not want to leave you hanging and show you what have been going on lately right now let's get to the shopping and in that way, I actually tried to just put my mind somewhere else. So plants always make me happy and just being surrounded by many different plants always puts my mind somewhere else. And I want to take you along. So first off, we'll go to the big box store called Chalas Totale or Chalas Centres. And this is where I did not found any plant that I would buy, but I found some cool pots. I actually forgot to bring them. So give me a second. 
All right, and I'm back. Fun fact that we found some pots for my business. So for those who are new on my channel, actually custom paint pots. I wanted to show one, but oh, here, right? Something like that. So a custom paint pot, and finally, I will have more options in my shop. And not only that, before that, you could always order simple terracotta colored pots or the gray ones, right? Which one? This one's actually pretty popular right now at this moment. But also, finally, I was able to find the ones that are my personal favorites, and these are light gray colored. So, for comparison, these how three colors are looking, right? And this specific one looks so fabulous, looks so modern in my opinion, and I was only able to find six of these. One we broke on the way home. <laughs> so this is all the disappointment because they are much more expensive than these ones that I showed you, right? But for those who were planning to order pots from me, I finally have this light gray ones. So this is your sign. This is your sign to order. I, we need money, guys. <laughs> I'll be completely honest with you. I want to make as much money right now as possible. We need to fix a car. We we still are being almost kicked out from this apartment so we really need to save as much as possible so let me work for your money guys Just give me orders and i will flip and make you happy with my pots and also finally found saucers oh my gosh it's been so long a bunch of you were asking uh, the will these pots that you order from me will come with the saucers and for the longest time ever i could not find the matching colored ones so i did not want it just to mix match you know different colors in one order that wouldn't look like aesthetic in my opinion and i'm like a perfectionist for stuff like that so finally we will have saucers for all of the three colors so this is so so fun finally this makes me incredibly happy because it feels like right now all of these orders will be complete in my opinion and sorry for those who already ordered and did not receive the pots with the saucers but you know what i'm trying to improve as i go and finally i can say that we're, we're doing this <laughs> we're finally flipping doing this so yeah here is about that but anyway let's go to the first big box store plan shop there and then i'll see you back begonia nine euros hmm Brigated string of hearts for 30 euros. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. For real? For this small pot? That's insane. Well, look at this beautiful variegation on this euphorbia. Oh my gosh, look at all of these choices of these cute lit ups. They are so weird. Oh my gosh. Honestly, they're kind of calling my name today. 310 euros. For this, I'm not sure this is a bit pricey, if you ask me. <gasps> Look at these beautiful leaves. Oh my gosh, they're a little bit thirsty. Still cute. 17 euros. I mean, this is maybe a decent, decent price because I don't see them that often. Yeah, Agnes says this ficus is beautiful. I mean, look at the size of these leaves. Heck yeah, it is. It's cool. It's really cool. Guys, look what they found. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, so this for London White Princess, 30 euros only? Are you flipping kidding me? What the heck? This is a steal. 30 euros. This is awesome. There's another one, a bit smaller, but this one is also 30 euros. Okay, that's cool. That's. Oh my gosh, look how cute they're small babies. It's free, okay, love it. Look at this philodendron. Ooh, new red. I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of this growth pattern, but the color is awesome. Ooh, these ones are cute, Ripsalis. Four, eight, thirty-nine. Okay, these ones are cute for sure. Huh? Adorable. Unfortunately, nothing to cool with cacti. I'm still having my eye on astrophytums, but as for now, no success. Oh, so unfortunate. Oh man, look at this orchid. Pretty cool. 50 euros. Oh my gosh. 
All right, and right now it's time to go to another big box store. I think I filmed a little clip of that as well. And that's where I bought a couple plants. So actually this one store was filled with plants and it was so exciting to go through so many cool Hoya baskets, so many like big plants. Oh, just go and see yourself, guys. All right, guys, we are up for the treat. We just came to the store and it's humongous. There is so many plants, so let's, let's just start, okay. So in the beginning we have a bunch of... Oh, oh that's a really bad sign. Okay, no, okay, okay. So we have ficus... Oh, that's expensive, 23 euros for very small lorata. Okay, we are not to the good start right now. I'm a little bit like, okay, okay. Let's still give it a go. Okay, Strelitius for 35. Okay, okay, this is better already. In my previous video, I actually found a sport for a gate at Strelitzia. That was a lot of fun. So if you want to watch this video, I will leave a link in the corner over here. Okay, we have some prayer plants. For $8.49. Pretty good deal. A bunch of beautiful colored crotons. For 36 euros. Okay, this is a nice one. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, a bunch of Sensiveria Sikid Racinos for 23. These ones are pretty cool. Oh, Kirkeis. How much are Kirkeis? 80. I mean, it's like an okay price. About a week ago in local Facebook houseplant group, I found a post where a lady found variegated ZZ in simple, simple section like this in simple Jesus, so right now I'm on a hunt. Okay, as so for now I don't see any, but that's why the hunt is fun, guys. That's why it's fun. All right, I'm leaving Agnus for hunting, and me will go to watch other plants because there is way too many. I want to go ahead and see all of them. Like, look at this huge monster! Oh my gosh, small ones are 32 euros. These ones actually can have some sport variegations as well, but these are more exciting with variegation, so... Okay, a lot of these. Alright, so in this side we have some cool calatias for 15 euros. Okay, this is a pretty great deal. Beautiful. Okay, rattlesnake, how much? 15 euros. Okay, you know what? I think this is a pretty decent price. Ooh, look at this begonia. Gorgeous, cute begonia for 17 euros. Mm. I mean, I'm not that into begonia, so I'm not sure if that's a good price or not. Bonsai for 70 euros. Okay, what else do we have? Small colatillos, oh my gosh, this is cute. Okay, this one is really cute. Oh wow, lovely. This is lovely. Look at this, this one is lovely, right, babe? All right, right now we are in hanging plant section. Look at this size leaves. Oh my gosh. 20 euros for one basket. I mean, it's okay. It's kind of okay. Have a bunch of different photos. Look at these colors of Etonias. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Hoyas hiding in here. Hoya Voyatii for 23 euros. Okay, I do not want to rip it, so... This is about the size. Let's put you back. Oh my gosh, this is an interesting ficus. Or, or is it an ivy? Maybe it's an ivy. Yes, this one is an ivy for 8 euros. Honestly, I like this shape. This looks cool. String of pearls for 23 euros. Okay, right now I understand this size basket. I mean, look at this. So cool. We also have hiding more Hoyas, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, we have Regated for 23 Hoya Voyatia. And this one is for 23 as well. Wow, this is actually great deals. Right, we have discounted section in here. Nothing too interesting. I mean, I could work on some of these, but Actually, this color really catches my eye of this Dracaena. 38 euros. Okay, that's a bit pricey, but I love the variegation on this one. Beautiful colors. 
Okay, we have a bunch of very different dracaenas in here. Just for curiosity, 38 euros for this size plant. Okay, nothing too cool here. Oh, these plants, if only they could live in my home. So beautiful. It looks like everything here is freshly watered, which is nice. Okay, look at this. Look at this, what the heck? The first leaf seems like just simple green Congo, but this one looks like painted lady. What am I missing? What am I missing? What is the painted lady? This one is for 17 euros. Okay, let me know in the comments, is it a painted lady or just, or just simple green Congo, but something wrong with it? Let me know. Plant police, oh my gosh. Can we save this? Look at it. Where do we save it? In your pocket. <laughs> You're gonna be a okay here. Alright guys, look at this huge basket of Hoyas. 33 euros for this size Hoya. Are you flipping kidding me? There are different varieties. Baby Calyx. Uh, wait, this one. Lisa? Oh my gosh. I know it, but it's just stuck in my head. Look at these ones. What a nice deal. Look at this. Agnes planted it so it will be happy in here. What a sweetheart. Alright, right now we are in one of my favorite sections, which is succulents. Look at this lemon. Oh my gosh. That's chunky, boy. Looks so heavy. Oh my. Okay, look. We have the same Ripsalis I saw in the last nursery. This one is for $7.49. Aha, one euro cheaper. Okay. Oh, look, I just put it on the shelf so it will be a little bit easier. Oh my gosh. Once again, tell me what a sweetheart. Okay, right now there are people in front of me, so I'm a little bit nervous. Just let's look at it. Ooh. It's been a while since I saw Poelia. $6.50. Oh, that's a nice price, actually. We have more Hoyas as well. Don't remember the name of this one. 13 euros, guys. Look at it. What a nice deal. Okay, this shop actually surprised me. So many so, good deals. Uh, I'm just laughing. What? What? <gasps> take him. You. No, take him. No, no, take him. You you take him. I, I don't want the body. Come on, bring Right now it's on Agnes. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. Okay, we have a bunch of spider plants. I think this one seems pretty similar to the ones that Becca Della plants not that long ago showed in her video, but not 100% sure. A bunch of Tradescantias. Seven euros? I don't know. I don't know about that one. Okay, and we have a bunch of beautiful cacti. Oh my gosh, look at this fluffy one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at all of these. Okay. It will take me a while to go. Oh! What? What? This one looks cool. I have no idea what kind of character that is, but it's coming home with me. Heck yeah! Okay, okay. There are, there are more cool... Oh, Euphorbio! Wait, wait, wait. Euphorbio? Euphorbio? Okay. This one, 269. Okay, what a nice deal! Yes! Yes! These two are coming home. Oh, yes! Okay, I mean that one on the very corner. Looks cool as well. I also like that old cacti, old man cacti. Okay, what else? I'm still on the hunt for astrophytums, but I don't see any, unfortunately. You know, I wonder what this is. Is it a gymnocolysium? Not sure. Guys, is it a monkey tail or am I dreaming? Looks like a flipping monkey tail, but it also have mealy bugs. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, I will leave it. I don't need infested plants in my home. I already have enough. <laughs> okay, let's go to the other side. Cool aloes. Look at these blooms. Ooh, 
gorgeous. Look at this chunky boy. Nothing too crazy. Okay. But in here are the ones that I'm not interested, honestly. The blooming ones. So I guess this is the end for this portion. And we're back. So today is actually the other day from the clips you saw from yesterday. Uh, over explaining as per usual <laughs> so let me show you the plans that i got because these are actually making me really excited i am a big euphorbia fan so i was able to find one euphorbia that i did not have before so this is already exciting for me and i'm talking about these babies so look at this all right this is euphorbia susanaya with bupleurifolia spurge so this is like a mix of two and i think that looks so so cool it looks like some kind of dude with two hands isn't it looks so fun there was only one of these and i was really excited to find one because i love to grow in my euphorbia collection one of the plants i got this was only two euros 69 cents so i think a pretty good a pretty good deal and this might work perfect for my new idea for a fear garden that i have so really excited for this one and another one I still have no idea how it is called, but I think this is some kind of variety of Gymnocalise, I'm like 95% sure. So for those who might know, please let me know in the comments. I just love the color of this. It looks like bluish, but at the same time, the parts where the spikes are kind of purplish and the spikes itself are pretty funny. It looks like pubic hair, but also colorful pubic hair. <laughs> so fun i loved this one i love that it's pretty chunky already and this one once again was only two euros 69 cents so at the same time it feels right because i did not spend a ton of money on houseplant shopping but also found something cool and lately i've been really on a kick for cool looking cacti i mean euphorbia is not a cacti technically but a succulent but oh, i feel happy i feel fulfilled right now cannot wait to report them or maybe put them in some fairy gardens and just this makes me excited. Oh, look at it. So cute. Such a dorky, weird guy. Beautiful, right? And yeah, this is it for today's video. I'm sorry if I put you in a bad mood. I'm just, as always, trying to be as honest as possible. And sometimes, like a lot of times, this means that I will share what's going on. And a lot of stuff in my life is not that positive anymore as it used to like three years ago. So join for a ride <laughs> thank you so much for watching and before leaving you of course let me teach you another language lesson you know what let's go with a simple one so let me teach you how to see color green in lithuanian in russian and in polish if you want to see color green in lithuanian you need to say Żala spalva. once again Żala spalva. if you want to see color green in russian you need to say zelony tvet once again zelony tvet and if you want to say green color in polish you need to say zelony color once again zelony color i mean i might say it in many different accents so just just keep it in mind but anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you had a wonderful weekend or will have a wonderful weekend whenever you're watching this a good day just have a flipping good day okay subscribe to my channel like this video comment something let's chat in the comments and hopefully i will see you in my next one